adequate preparation and planning are key to success. Do not leave revision to the last minute. Allow plenty of time, at least four months lead-in time. Baseline knowledge and experience is important, so do not be tempted to take the exam too early. Once the decision uh, has been made to take the exam, make sure your family and friends are on board because many sacrifices will need to be made. Make sure you book a holiday for immediately after the exam. You'll need that break. Revision. Practice as many questions as you can. Organise study groups with your friends and peers and access as many sources as possible. For instance, the specialist multiple choice question books. The Royal College of Anaesthetists has uh, a very good e-learning website. There are online resources such as on examination and the various courses um, held up and down the country. Book your courses early because some of them are very popular. The Royal College also has um, their own final and primary FRCA book with examples of questions in them that are actually used in the exam. A little bit about the day itself. When you're sitting down at the desk, you know you have at least three hours to complete those questions. You have to pace yourself. The single best answer questions have high weighting. There are four marks for a correct answer and zero for an incorrect answer. First, read the lead-in and associated question and then try and answer before you actually look at the available options. Examiners are not trying to trick you with regard to numerical facts such as PKA values or plasma protein binding values for drugs. Values will be approximately correct or true or a completely different value from those widely quoted. False. If new guidelines are published, the old ones are acceptable for at least the first few years. And finally, good luck with your revision and enjoy what On Examination has to offer. And uh, remember, we're here to support you.